Hi everyone, I haven't posted a video in a while, but I thought I'd just make a quick video to demonstrate a sort of program that I've written recently to help me navigate between my applications and between windows of that application more effectively. Um, so I'm on Mac OS. I use Yabai and SKHD for uh, window management and key binding respectively. I can just quickly go to my config here. Uh, um, I also have SKHD. Let's just pull that up on the side. All right, so now the program I've written in question is just this small program uh, right here. And let me demonstrate what it does first. All right, so let's just create a Firefox window here. Let's move that to another desktop. Let's uh, minimize that. Uh, let's just create a few more. Uh, let's go to, let's go to Kagi. Let's go to um, Google. Let's go GitHub. And why not? Let's move this Google window to like the ninth desktop here. So it's second, ninth, second, ninth. Um, and to demonstrate, I'll just say up front that my shortcut key binding for Firefox Windows is Command Shift Enter, right? Command Shift Return. So let's say I'm in my uh, Neovide or my terminal or whatever other application, and I'd like to jump to a Firefox window. Then all I do is I hit Command Shift Enter. Um, I'm not going to do it just yet, but wherever I am, doesn't matter if there is a Firefox window in the current uh, desktop slash space, it will jump me to the window. So I just hit enter, I jump to the window. Now let's say that's not the window I want, right? Let's say I have multiple Firefox windows. Um, I don't have a separate key binding for cyclic, I just hit command shift enter again, and I'll jump to the next one, right? You can sort of see the focus changing with the yellow border. The yellow one represents the currently active window, or currently focused, and if I hit it again, I'll just switch across desktops to that ninth desktop where the third window lies, right? And if I hit one more time, I go back to the first, second, ninth, first, second, ninth, right? So it's pretty neat. I was, you know, the original script I wrote had a separate key binding just for cycling, and I didn't really like that, um, but, you know, I do like this quite a bit better. Now, I, you know, equivalently have one for the terminal, Command-Shift-E, you know, the, the, the actual key bindings are pretty subjective, but it's just the way I've sort of gotten used to it over my period of time developing all these uh, the script alongside remapping all the shortcuts um, and for my neovide editor which I've recently begun using I use command shift X so that jumps me there I can create another neovide window all right and I do command shift X it'll jump in between them um, and yeah um, notice how let's say I go let's say go back to here I do command shift X it always jumps deterministically to there, there's sort of an order right and if you create new windows those when those will occur later in the ordering now you can actually sort of readjust this ordering I don't have full flexibility over it yet um, but what you can do is you can sort of say well I want this one to be the new focused one right so let's go back to the Firefox windows let's say I want this Kagi window or rather the, the window that's currently displaying Kagi to be the main window I have another shortcut for that command shift K and I've just hit it. Let's go back to you know my terminal or something like that. If I hit Command Shift Enter now, which is the Firefox shortcut, it'll jump to the Kagi window. Um, and the rest of the cycling, you know, the cycle is still in the same relative order as it is, but the the focused one, as it were, has now changed. All right. Um, so how does this actually work? Well, let's go to this right here. So it's just a simple. Lua script that begins a TCP server, right? So it's just a server running in the background. And the thought is that it'll just run some Yabai commands as a C fit, you know, mainly of the form, focusing, you know, particular spaces and windows, um, querying to get updated, you know, updated stuff. I have signals to detect, you know, Yabai signals to detect when windows change, which allows me to more efficiently refresh only when needed. Uh, but the idea is down here, I'll get like a message over the TCP um, connection and 
it'll either be like R, which means refresh, which just simply means, you know, rescan all the windows and all the spaces to just get me an updated fresh list of what's there in case something has gone out of sync, which it shouldn't, but it sometimes happens. C, which means to cycle. Um, by the way, this is like a uniform command that cycles regardless of whichever application you're in, as long as you've had it configured. And I'll demonstrate in just a moment how that works. Um, G, which means go to. So let's say you can go to Firefox, right? That's going to be this part. It's going to tell you the application name. And X means fix, right? So fix the current window um, of this type of application as the default one when you jump to it, which is actually quite useful, right? The reason why I implemented this was because I found a need for it. Um, and yeah, I'd say the overall reason why I created this in the first place is because this was how I thought of um, tab switching or, you know, might you say window management. It felt a lot more natural to me to be able to jump to a particular application as opposed to, you know, jumping to a particular space that you associate with a particular application, right? So let's say, you know, some people might do like, okay, uh, desktop 7 is always for... Uh, my gaming stuff. So I'll have Steam in there, I'll have my other gaming, you know, maybe a browser window to game. Um, and if I want to go there, I have to remember that that's desktop 7 at the hit, you know, 7. Whereas with this approach, you can instead just hit a shortcut that you've already associated with the particular application. Um, because, you know, in my usage, I tend more to think in terms of applications, not uh, the sort of abstract things, right? So a lot of people will have to, you know, I even have the symbols up here that sort of delimit what each space should be used for, um, like music, games, recording, all that sort of thing. Um, but I found this much more efficient. So it's really up to you, right? Now, the thing is, let's go to... Okay, so here you can see... Where is it? So window creation and window destruction does trigger a refresh just so that I'm always in sync because I don't want to be trying to go to uh, windows that no longer exist um, and I also want to keep track of all the windows that are created so these are the two lines you add um, nothing else here is quite relevant to the tab switching application I have at hand but there is quite a bit in the skhdrc right so this is the key binding and starting from here um, all this stuff up until here is for the purposes of my tab switching application, right? So here's kind of how I did the trick of cycling, because cycling does depend on where you are uh, currently. Um, so the way I have it is that the key binding actually means two different things depending on whether you're already focused on an instance of that application or not. So, oh, oops, command shift return. If I'm in a Firefox window, um, sort of results in a cycle request being sent to the server. Whereas if it's anything else, that's sort of the match all, I guess, it'll tell uh, the server to send me to a Firefox instance. Same thing for Kitty, which is my terminal, Skim, which is my PDF viewer. And this one's a recent addition. You can tell by the Git signs on the left that this is my sort of editor now. I don't really like editing in the terminal anymore because I mean, just look at this smooth scroll. It's so much less distracting than um, having the jumpiness of it being in a terminal. Um, and last, okay, this should just be deleted. I don't use the Discord desktop application anymore. Um, now these three down here are, what are they doing here? Okay, so these are like, okay, yeah, so having a manual refresh is pretty important, but I don't think that needs to go there anymore. Uh, and then yeah, fixing, like I said, I have that bound as well, and yeah, this is all quite neat. So X is, yeah, X is a fix hockey. All right, but we can actually see how the server is sort of implemented up here. Um, cycling, so all it really is, is it's represented um, as a map between application names and a list of window IDs, right? Or rather what it is, is a list of space window ID pairs. Um, and the reason for that is it's much faster to focus the space an application is in first before focusing the window that it's in. Um, and the reason for that is if you just try to focus the window, it will work, but it will use macOS's default space switching animation, right? <laughs> Excuse me. 
So if you use space focus, that uses Yaoi's mechanism that overrides, you know, whatever the Mac OS default mechanism is, which, you know, does take a second or two. Um, so this really becomes instantaneous. And then that line after, you know, that's just within the space. So it's already pretty quick. Um, and I, you know, I don't know how to write it neatly. I probably should use coroutines or some sort of thing. But all I have here is just, you know, run takes a callback of what to run after. And then I just run the second command. Yeah, so blah, blah, blah. I mean, it's not too interesting. I just wanted to share because it's super convenient in my opinion. Let's say I create multiple terminal windows. Let's go to terminal, right? The fact that I can do that. Okay, so this kind of looks weird because I have a maximize window. Let me unmaximize that first. I can create like a bunch of terminal windows here. Let's close this one. Um, now I can just cycle between them, right? So you see that? That's kind of in a weird order. I can even like... Um, I mean, you know, realistically, you wouldn't have that many terminal windows on the same page, right? So I mean, just hitting Command Shift E here just allows me to cycle between the two windows. I can alternatively use the navigation shortcuts. Um, but the navigation shortcuts stop being useful if the terminal is in a different space, right? So let's say it's on space five, then if I were to use navigation, I would have to context switch to using the space shifting navigation. Whereas if I know that I just want the other terminal window and I'm already here, I can just jump to it, right? That's pretty sweet. All right, now one drawback of this approach is that <coughs> um, you have to add all your applications manually. Right, so you kind of saw here in my SKHDRC, each application I wanted to register, as it were, as part of this application, I have to manually put in my SKHDRC. Now that sort of makes sense because how else would you, you know, have key bindings for particular applications? You have to specify them at some point. Um, but, you know, it sort of leaks into the server too. I sort of need to know what should be launched because another feature is that if there's no present window for the application, I can create a window. Now this feature is buggy for some reason. I'm going to try to figure that out. It doesn't quite work. So if I want to, you know, if I have no Firefox windows open and I want to create a Firefox window, I should be able to just hit Command Shift Enter and it will create a new one for me, but that's not currently working. Um, <clears throat> it was working though. I don't know why it stopped working. However, I do have another thing at my disposal for jumping to a particular window. Um, so Let's see. Let's try going to my calendar, right? So how, what's, how would I go to my calendar? I don't have a key map set up for it, but I do have this catch-all application that presents to me all the open windows that I have, um, and it gives their window ID as well as their application name. And over here, I can start performing a search, or I can navigate up and down using the you know, normal shortcuts. Um, and allows me to go to windows that I don't have an app, uh, a key map for, such as my calendar, fantastical. So if I just hit enter here, it will do the same thing accordingly, jumping space and window to get to the application instantly. Um, and yeah, you can see here that it has jumped successfully to it. Pretty neat stuff. You know, I can do the same for other ad hoc applications I might have open, including, you know, maybe if I open like, DaVinci Resolve to do some video editing, I can always jump back to that window using this menu, which gives me ad hoc control. Um, so for the commonly used stuff, I'll have configuration set up for it, but this provides a neat catch-all for any other applications. All right, that's really all I had to say about this. If you have any questions or you'd like to know how you might implement this yourself, I you just you know ask down in the comments and I can try to help you out. Thanks for listening.